And then it says, take up your cross. What does that mean? Look this way. Here's some fellow over here, you know, and he's got some disability. Yeah, he said, it's my cross. Don't be ridiculous. There's nowhere the Bible teaches that. What is my cross? Well, what was the cross for? That's where Jesus died. The cross is you dying to his will. That's all. Take up your identification as a do-law slave by saying, I am bought with a price. I'm not my own. I belong to him. It's the devil's trick to make you believe that because you got some disability, you have to bear your cross as if that was the cross. No, the cross is identification with dying to yourself and living to him. So much of Christian television tells you how to live unto yourself. Sent me money and then you can have. Some of the preachers recently, have you noticed, they're now showing while they're asking for money, in the background they're showing these big yachts and some fella driving up in a Rolls Royce and the whole projection is, you sent me money and this is the lifestyle. They are darned scamsters. I should have said the right word there. Only they might put me off television. Then said Jesus unto his learned ones, If any man puts his will into following me, let him say no to himself, no to keeping back that money. Let him take up his identification with yes to me. Let him follow me, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Whosoever will put himself first, you're going to lose everything. But whosoever will lose his life, and that doesn't mean physically, that means saying no to the wrong pleasures. For my sake shall find his life. For what is a man profited if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Are you getting it, friends? Yes. We're wrapped up in a box, which we mostly do things with to try to make it nicer or put off the aging process or whatever. Our whole concentration is on the box, but that box will get you into trouble. Now, when it's under the control of God, you're going to have a lot of blessings with your soul and your mind and the box. But you let it run rampant. You steal God's money. You steal God's time or whatever. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. 